Hey, welcome back to season nine. Yep, so we're halfway through, 41 games. Uh, how should we start? Let's just do a quick recap of all the points and all that. So I think we were like fifth place-ish. Well, let's have like, like the divisions first. So I think playoffs were pretty good because uh, Central is pretty weak this year. Uh, we are for third place, six points behind Arizona. Only um, 12 on, no, wait, what? What? Eight, eight under Edmonton? What the fuck? And um, Vancouver's right behind us. LA's right behind us. But I think we're okay with uh, Central. We have 54. Yeah, they have 56. So I think this year is very, very good for us. Unless some shit goes down later on the, the, the other half of the season. But yeah, we are ninth place. Goals four. I think we're dropped a bit. 124. Yeah, 124. So we've dropped a bit. Goals against is still pretty good. Uh, that goes for fifth place there. Power play, we're doing really good. No, we're not. Wait, what? No, okay. So I thought I was, I was looking at a different team. 25% is still pretty good. Penalty kills pretty good as well. 85, 85%. We're in the top there. And home and away record is like that. Away is pretty good. Home record is not the greatest this year. But away record is really good. Beans leading our team. Uh, let's sh uh, forwards. Tarasenko, obviously. Panarin, Kempinen, Mrazic. Um, he's, he's in the lead for the Calder. He has the most points as a rookie. 26 points. Grandlin. So this year, I, I say it's kind of a little bit off for our forwards. Tarasenko, he had, I think at this time, he had like 60 points. He had double the points last year. Panarin, I think he's pretty, he's still on pace for like 60, 70 points. He had a career high 78, so he's probably still around 60, 70 points. Kevin, he's probably going to get his career high. He had 60 last year. Yeah, he's, he might be around 60 points as well. Um, Mrazic, Grandlin's kind of dropping. Verana. I think he's dropping a bit, 24 points. No, about 60 points is about the same. Gothi has 18 goals on the team. Uh, McDonald, is, he only has three points halfway in, so I changed the lines. I put Eakin instead. I'll show you in a second, and that's the defense. Bean, Brody, and always the top guys. Theodore, Winkovs are negative, that's okay. And the goalies, that's the stats there. Final Wick Laner, goals against there. So let me show you the lines real quick. And then, well, yeah, we'll just get back to the sim. So last video, all I did was put Eakin back in. Yeah, so basically, it was like this. Instead of Eakin, it was McDonald, but we're going to put Eakin back in with... He's the better face-off, so we're putting him in the center with Carlson. And then Carlson, the right wing, sorry, defense is the same. Yeah, that's the same. Penalty kill, it's really good, so we left it the same. The line set's not bad. 87, 82, 83. So it, the only thing lacking is his face-offs, really, but... Our penalty kill is doing great, so let's leave it the same. Except we've got Eakin on the 3-on-3 three three just because it's a really good face-off. So that's the only difference, really. In the AHL, same thing in the AHL. They're they're struggling. I should probably focus more of the AHL stuff next season. Just just so we get in the playoffs. Because the AHL hasn't been in the playoffs in a while. and hope, i got a feeling that might stunt their growth a little bit. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'll look into that next season. Okay, so we went six games last video with Hunwick to get exactly 41 games. So let's go another, you know what, let's go another six games here. Oh, let's give him seven games. That's uh, 13 games for him, then we'll let Laner in. This is Hunwick's third season. This is his second full season as a starter, so I think I think he's good now. He's gone in the groove. We can give him majority of the games without him sucking or getting injured. I hope I didn't jinx it, but... uh. The seven games so far, that was it? Seven games, we were I think 5 0 and 2 so far. Let's go on the scout, we're in the Quebec League. Let's go three weeks. Four, no, we're 4 0 and 2. Let's see how the last game goes since Calgary. They're, they're a rival here. Nice, we got the win. Brock Besser, no, it's nothing that good. Besser's only like 82 overall, so it's okay. Chicago, we're just, while well, we're playing them right there, and they wanted to trade them. So 5 0 and 2, nice. So let's get Laner in. Um, those last six games, I think he went like. 2, 3, and 1. But then if you add that 5 0 and 2 run there, it pretty evens out pretty good. So 4 3 points. Sir Sanko's back in the lead. Uh, let's get Laner back in. Let's see how uh, Eakin's doing. Hopefully, Eakin's doing pretty good. Oh, they neg fuck, negative 2. God damn it, they're still doing pretty bad. Uh, no, it's okay. Let's just, just, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. Laner is in. Uh, but I guess so far I've been doing pretty good since since uh, coming back from this video. Let's see. Oh, Laner gets a three nothing loss. Let's get Hunwick back in. Trade deadline is probably back in like a few weeks here. 
get on Wicks and Net. Um, lost some chemistry in the NHL, but the AHL gained some chemistry there. Oh, another thing, we have a, uh, we have another franchise player in this draft, so that's another thing. Pretty much every second year, there's a franchise player. Chicago Wolves are 19 and 30. Yeah, looks like their playoff hopes are done. So trade deadline is here. How many games is that? It's one. Uh, let's go up this double header here. Nice win there. We gave a point to Nashville. That's fine. Oh, come on. It's the slow sim. Gold open. Nah, you already went to us for this trade. It's okay. We like Laner. Laner can stay with us. I actually have a trade in mind, but I think we're doing so good. I don't know if I should do it. Uh, what is this? Just draft picks. Who is this defenseman? I'm looking at this defenseman. We could be moving up in the draft here with this third. We we'll lose our third, but they're third. Actually, no, they're they're probably a playoff team, so it might not. It might be about the same. But how is this guy? No, this is a depth defenseman. It's okay. If he was decent, why not? But uh, it's it's okay. Okay, so far win loss win loss pattern so far. Got some wins in a row. Oh my God, Burakovsky, Earl. Who's a low top four we got? Burakovsky. No, we lose our second round pick too. Let's, let's just see how good Burakovsky is. Three years too. He's probably an older guy by now. Thirty. Actually, no, thirty one. It's not that old, but uh. Well, he was injured the whole season last year. It looks like. Nah, he's on pace for like 60, 70 points, but it's okay. Just from his history, I don't think he's gonna get that many points. Oh, you know what? I should probably I should be probably looking at their playoff history, not their regular season. Cause I think re regular season, I think we're doing good. Um, lately we've just been going uh, La Lancet. Oh, Logan Brown. Let's see, La Lancet's still pretty young. He can still grow, but Logan Brown only eighty second liner. Is he mad? He's probably mad. Yeah, cause Ottawa sucks too. He's probably not happy. Let's just have a. Is there a way to see? He's, I bet he's mad. I think he's yeah. He's like I bet he's like eighty, at least 82, 83, 84 overall. But um, no, I I trust that Lavancet will grow into that second liner, hopefully, or maybe uh, Brad Strong in the AHL. Hopefully, he can grow. Uh, USA, let's go uh, three weeks in the USA. Yeah, so far we've just been getting win loss, win loss here. No, we got that one two game winning streak against uh, Philly and Colorado, but. Holy, lots of trades. Wait, um, trading block. Didn't I already delete? Oh, that's why. Okay, well, there. Hopefully, less trades come in. Loss against Anaheim there. Oh, losses. I think I think I think playoffs. We're we're still okay for playoffs, but but no, it's okay. But yeah, a few losses in a row against specific teams there. Everly. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this trade. Jordan Everly. They really want to give us Jordan Everly. I was looking at some trades, um, before I started the video and. I don't know, this this trade's gonna be the biggest trade that I've that we've made so far. I think other than that, I was looking back at the videos. I think so far biggest trade was for uh William Nylander, where we traded away our two first round picks, but I feel like just trading him, we we had decent regular seasons and he he's had pretty good seasons with us, but then we never made it to the playoffs both those years, so we ended up just trading him away because he's pretty much a curse. So Eberly you know what? Okay, so the game was Eberly. I'm gonna go back to that. Let's just see how we do. I feel like why not? Let's we'll we'll look at the at once points and all that, and we'll see. Cause we have a trade in mind, and it might it's it's for sure it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be freaking it's gonna be a game changer. Evander Kane, no Nolan. He's a American right wing, uh, top six. So it's okay. We'll keep him. Yeah, lost again. Uh, okay, what? Well, let's just go up to this Ottawa. Let's just switch out Laner. Fifty four points. Yeah, well, let's go to the... Oh, shit. I, I think I advanced the day by accident. Okay, okay. We got the win. Let's just go up to trade deadline here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. 62 games. 56 points. That's pretty good for Tarasenko, but for him, that's a low. For like any first line, first liner, that's pretty good, but for Tarasenko, that's a low. And yeah, Granlin's dropping 83, so you know what? He's he, he's a part of the trade, too, I, I was thinking about. So okay, let's get later in there. Uh, you know what, let's have a look at the stats and all that. We're yeah, about three quarters of the way. Where are we here? 80 points. So we're still technically not far behind Edmonton. Vancouver, LA, we've gotten a decent amount ahead of them. So we're at 80 points. See what the Pacific's doing. Or Central. Yeah, I think I th I'm pretty sure we're in the playoffs for sure. Unless we lose like the rest of our games. But uh, 
I doubt that will happen. I mean, who knows? That could happen. But yeah, the central the central is so weak this year. Like we we should be able to at least get like the last place wild card spot in the Pacific. Okay, let's have a look at the points here. Let's go. Let's see. Was it New York Rangers or no? Tampa Bay was the f first place. Yeah, Tampa Bay still up there, ninety four. Where are we? We're six. We're still top. I feel like this year's NHL is pretty weak. It looks like. Um, yeah, Detroit, Tampa Bay, Edmonton, New York Rangers, Arizona, then us. Goals for 182. Um, it's still about the same. Goals against 146. I feel like this year we're more of a defensive team this year. This year we're not scoring many goals, but we're getting less goals against. Power play still doing pretty good, 24%. Pelmy kill got a little bit worse there, 82. But uh, the trade I have in mind that it might make our power penalty kill and power play better by a little bit. Player stats. Okay, let's see. It really depends on the player stats how how they're doing right now. Okay, so top line: Tarasenko, Panarin, Granlin. Okay, so what? They're not doing bad. At first, they were like. Their plus minus was lo lower, like near zero, but now they've gotten a little bit better. It looks like, but uh, all of them are kind of not doing the great great as last year. Um, Granlin, yeah, he's dropping too. He has a year left, so for sure next year he's gonna be a lot cheaper. But um, I mean, if if what's his name, if Kempinen, he's probably gonna grow to to be the first line center. So. Hopefully he's gonna grow to be the first line. The Granlin could be maybe our second liner, but I have a trade here. Rana, he's doing all right. Yeah, I think he's doing pretty good. Thirty-five points. He's probably not gonna get sixty points. He might, but he's still having a decent year. Mrazic, a rookie, thirty-three points, pretty good as a rookie there on the third line. Gauthier, he's doing pretty good. Twenty-three goals. He had thirty goals last year, right? Yeah, thirty. Yeah, so he might beat that. Who is Rana's twenty-one goals? He's doing pretty good in goals too. Tuck. 24, he's doing all right on the second line. He's just he's just there helping out. Third line, Lancet, 21 points, plus 7. He's with uh, Gauthier. Oh, yeah, and Marazic, they're doing pretty good. Fourth line, Eakin. You know, Eakin's already got more goals than McDonald, so we'll just keep him there. Mickelson. Yeah, our fourth line, I don't know what's up. Should we move? Because I, I, I don't want to move the Lancet or Gauthier down because that will ruin their growth, and they're doing good. So we just got to leave a fourth line like that and just hope, well, hope for the best, basically. Defense, Brodine 51, he's still up there, uh, Bean Brodine, sorry, Pandolfo negative one, Pandolfo, hopefully he gets in a lot of power, six power play points, not bad, he's on the power play, hopefully he can get a little bit more points, but pretty much the top guys getting all the points, and I think Hunwick's save percentage, goals against got a little bit better there, wins, let's just go to the NHL now, actually, I'm going to go to the trade, just put all the players up, and just just talk about it and we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Okay, it's it's going to be huge. It's going to be bigger than the Willi William Nylander one. So Hunwick still tied for wins, but save percent not as good as Jerry. And save goals against not as good too as like these other top guys. Uh, let's go to rookies. Let's see if Mrazic's still up there. Nope. Menino's got ahead of him a bit. 35 points. Mrazic's still right behind him. Defense. Being 51, still right behind Patrick. He can still catch up. Forwards, uh, Kucherov this year, 78. Yeah, really off, off year for uh, Tarasenko, 56. 102, so he might, he probably can get, still gonna get 70 points, but for like for him, 70 points is a low for him, so yeah. Oh wait, let's look at the goals. I didn't, I didn't really look at the goals, see how he's doing. He was like, I think he was basically tied for Maurice Richard last year, or last time I checked, 37 goals. Yeah, he's still leading for goals, that's good. So you still might get the Maurice, but you know what? Let's have a look at the trades here. So let's, I'll show you. I don't know if this trade's going to be huge, but I don't know. So it's going to be New York Islanders. They really want to give us Jordan Eberle. So let's, let's fulfill their wish. Let's see how good they are. 37, wait, let's have a look at their, their playoff. 37, 20, 34, 27, and 2. Where are they in the standings here? Let's see if it makes sense here. Uh, New York Islanders. They're in a playoff spot. They're... They're barely in a playoff spot. Though when I was looking at this trade earlier, they weren't in a playoff spot, but now they've actually somewhat caught up. But I don't know. I feel. Hmm. I feel like they could make this just to shake things up on their team. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's bring it up. So okay, so we know they're they're in a playoff spot right now, but they're still pretty like they're still they can drop out pretty easily still. So they're not hundred percent in. They can still easily fall out. 
Okay, so you know what? Wait, let's put their players. Uh, shoot, let's go one by one. Let's go one by one. Okay, so first, Jordan Eberle. Do we want to give him out? Give him away. 84. He's not doing the greatest right now, I think, right? Actually, no, he's been doing a little bit better now. So maybe the... Ah, uh, last time I checked, he was negative. He was negative, and he was at like... Ah, uh, yeah, he's probably going to reach his 70 points again. Okay, let's just put him up. 19 power play points, but uh... Okay, so you know what? He's doing better. Before, he wasn't doing the greatest, so that's why... But they still want to give him away, probably because he's really old. He's 35 years old, so like he might want not uh, want to sign with them next year, and like he might retire and all that stuff. So that might be why they're giving him away. So basically, he's obviously gonna play in our top six. So he's not gonna. I'll show you all our forwards. He's not gonna replace Tarasenko, Panarin. So he's he's either replacing Vrana or Tuck. So one of these guys has to go. And I thought the guy that's going to go is going to be Vrana. Obviously, Vrana has more points than Tucker right now. 21 goals, 14 assists. Like, he's, he's like double Tuck's points pretty much. What does he have? 24 points. Vrana has like probably 40, 50 points. 24, 30. Yeah, about 11 points more than Tuck. Uh, he, we got Vrana, was it two years ago? So I think these are the points. Yeah, we want to wait. 23, 24. We won the cup. Yeah, was that the year? Yeah, I think that's the year we traded for him, right? Yeah. Yeah, because that's the only playoffs he's had. Yeah, so he's only been... This is his only his second year. Or third, no, this is third. He has two full, se two full seasons with us. So 53 points, 60 se points here. I don't know. Technically, this year, he was, he was with the team for like half the year. So 53 points technically wasn't with us. But yeah, like so far, I guess you can say he has a full year. If you add this full year and these two partial years, he's had two full years with us and about... Uh, let's say it's 140 points and tuck the last two years yeah obviously a lot a lot less like just just about 100 points for him but he's been with us since the beginning he's we've had him since like a high 70 overall as a prospect right so i want to keep tuck um they're both one year left so they're both we gotta resign both of them but same age too but i like tuck more and Ren has more of the trade value so maybe this will help out with the trade more and we already have too many snipers, so why not? let's just do a sniper for a sniper. I feel like it's good to have the power for it. And Tuck is on our penalty kill, so it's better just to keep Tuck on the penalty kill. Because Eberle, he's not going to play on the penalty kill. Yeah, his, his defense is not good enough, so... Yeah, his his offense is a lot better than Vrana's. I don't want to give him up. And Eberle's one year, so we can maybe re-sign him next year, or we can let him go. And since if we do let him go, we're technically not missing much, because we have Mr. Mrazic. He's a third liner right now, but he's still 20 years old. I'm banking that he's going to be a second liner next year. So if we don't resign Eberle, we can always just replace him for Mrazic. If we do, if Eberle, say Mrazic doesn't grow and we do sign Eberle, Eberle can play in the second line. And then when he does drop, hopefully by then Mrazic will be a second liner during the season. Then we'll just flip him around. So yeah, that's one thing. We're okay. And then I'm going to throw in a few more pieces here. The trade's a lot on our end. They're basically getting back another winger who's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's not as many points as Eberle. Wait, 24, 14. Yeah, he doesn't have as many points as Eberle, but then he's more plus, and he's like four years younger. You can re-sign him to another like five-year or river as much as you want, but I think the main thing is that he's five, six years younger than Eberle. Same overall, and like his points isn't that much less than Eberle's. He's really plus too, so maybe if Rana's defense is a little bit better. But let's add a few more things here. It's gonna be freaking Johnny T. John Tavares. Oh damn! Yeah, last time I looked at him too, he was like negative ten, but now he's plus one. He's doing a lot better since then. But I think okay, I'm gonna just put him all up first and see. So he got hundred points last year. I think he was like second place or third. He was like top five last year in points. Um, this year obviously he's off off year. Holy shit, forty power play points. But it's gonna be Johnny T. Um, why? Because without him, they're still doing pretty good. I should wait. Let me put John T. Obviously, we gotta give back a center, so it's gonna be uh, Granlin. Okay, so I'll show you why. Granlin, because Barzell, he's in his prime. Barzell is gonna be the top center for the next couple of years here, so it's gonna be Barzell and Granlin. Granlin is 33 years old? 34 now, okay. Tavares, 35. So Granlin's only a year younger than Tavares, but. Uh, Granlin can play second liner for at least another year or two. Uh, they don't have any. Yeah, they kind of, their center court kind of sucks. So at least they can get Granlin to get a second liner back. And um, 
What's his name? Groundland is one year younger than Tavares, and he's only one year. So they can negotiate a new contract with him. Tavares, they're going to hold him for another 9 mil, 4 years. So I'm willing to take the contract. Because he's still 89 overall. Hopefully, he's like a he's like a Crosby. No, he's, I think he's, he's doing better than Crosby. Cause Crosby. No, Crosby's 38 years old. He's like 85. Kane's like 36 years old. He's like 85 as well. I think Stamkos is like high... He's about 36 years old, and he's still like a high 80. So hopefully Tavares doesn't drop as much as those guys. He can still be like a high 80, mid 80 until he's like 30, 38 if he doesn't retire. And 9 mil, that's all right. We'll see. Maybe we can trade him later on, but we'll get Tavares. Another thing, they've never won a cup with Tavares, and they got him first overall in like 2008, 2009. So it's been like, like frick, oh, I don't know, 10 years? I don't even know my math, but he's been there for a long time. Never won a cup with him, so maybe he's like a Ginla thing with with um, Calgary. So they'll trade him away to a team that's you know they want. We won a cup two years ago, so obviously we're a Stanley Cup contender. And yeah, they basically get him back Grandlin, who is younger, and they can re re renegotiate a cheap uh, cheaper contract next year. So there's that. There's those two, but since actually should I just go? I have I have another. I have more pieces to the trade, but. I feel like this technically isn't fair because their team is actually doing good. I, before, I felt like this might go through because before, when, when I was looking at this trade, it was before like we simmed, right? So then basically, their team was, wasn't in a playoff spot. So I thought maybe they're going to go for like, the rebuild kind of thing, go for younger players, trade away these guys, save a lot of money. But then, since they're better now, they're in like a playoff spot. Uh, let's give them a little bit more. I, I was... I was thinking about this just in case they do get better. I got some more pieces here. So, you know what? It's going to be one of our defensemen. Unfortunately, it's going to be long time uh, Shea, right? Shea Theodore. Yeah, it's going to be a long long time Vegas Golden Knight Shea Theodore. One of our assistant captains. Because we're absorbing the 9 mil, we also have to give away some of our salary. Because that's that's a lot, right? So, out of our defensemen, we have to re-sign Rissline. He's a captain. He's our best defense. We've got to re-sign this year. Brodeen, he's a steal. Six mil for an 89 overall. That he's a steal. Bean. Um, he's still really young, so it makes sense that he's at eight mil. And since like the salaries goes up every year, so everyone's getting a little bit more money. But he's still in his prime, so I think that's fine. He's there, he's pretty much our point leader, so getting paid eight mil to be our point leader defenseman is good. And since Theodore, we can let him go. We're saving money for two years, the six mil. He's 30 years old, so he's still in his prime. He still he still has at least like three, four years in him, but we have Winkfist here, who is pretty much, I say he's pretty much very similar similar to uh, Bro to Theodore. Wow, oh, Winkfist already at top four. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. So yeah, he grew to top four, so he can just pretty much replace Theodore here, right? Yeah, he can just replace Theodore. And then we'll have um, Pen, uh, Pendolfo to play top six. And since we're giving Brodeen, our trade value is still on there. And we're, gonna, we're just going to ask back for a defenseman. So yeah, their defenseman is lacking. So we can give him... Obviously, it's going to be uh, Gossip Spear and Brodeen in their top line. We'll let them keep Brigris. McGillney, he's a low elite, 23 years old. He's still really young, so we'll, we'll let him keep McGillney so they at least have a young defenseman coming up. So it's either like Dunn or Letty, but since I just want a guy for one year, I don't really want to sign him, so we're just going to go for Nick Letty here. Because, um, well, trade still an hour end, so maybe we'll ask for something small. But um, yeah, so I guess it'll be Pendolfo and Letty. Or even Nemalainen, but since we have um, Dredger go coming up, hopefully, and we have all these guys, so... Actually, no, we have Satan and Earl, but these guys probably take a while. But we still have uh, Nemalainen, Dredger for a while. Or we're going to sign some random free agents to play in the top six, so... Yeah, like yeah, because basically, um, Eberly will replace Verana, but since Eberly is old, we can always let Mrazic replace Eberly. Granlin will be replaced by Tavares, but we have Kempinen and Lalanta coming up as centers as well. Theodore will be replaced by uh, Winkfist. And these guys, Letty will just be there just for the extra spot. So you know what? This, the trade value is still on our end. Um, I don't want to rip them off and take like their, yeah, their young guys. Because their defense, they don't have any guys. So let's let them keep the young defensemen. Their forward core looks actually pretty good, I think. Um, they're losing Eberly and Tavares, but they're getting back Granlin and Vrana. Yeah, their forwards kind of suck. They don't have any... Well, they do have a couple prospects, but let's just ask for... Do you have a goalie? Oh, yeah, you have lots of goalies. Yeah, I was thinking maybe let's, let's, let's get a better goalie, but I think it might be too late, but why not? Let's try. They have Soderstrom, Kelly, 
Let's just go for this guy. Let's ask for a goalie back. Well, that looks fair. Let's just go for this. Um, I feel like I, have to, I talked way too long about this trade, but let's just let's just see. Trade rejected. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just ask for a draft pick. Um, yeah, I feel like it's too late to play. I feel like Chicago Wolves are, are it's too late. They already lost too many games. I don't think we can come back to get in the playoff spot. Let's just ask for a third rounder. Boom. Okay, trade accepted. Okay, uh, I probably spent way too long explaining the trade. I think it's 25 minutes in. Holy shit. Okay, you know what? Let me edit the lines and all that stuff, and then I'll meet you. Yeah, in the lines. All right, here are the new lines. So, John Tavares, Tarasenko, and Panarin, and then Eberly places Vranelth, Kempton, and Tuck, and everything else is the same. So, one thing, if you if you never watched my St. Louis franchise mode in uh, NHL 17 before I started this, um, yeah, obviously Terrence Sinkles from St. Louis, so I had him the whole time, but then freaking John Tavares. I traded for John Tavares, I think, like, the second year in, because during that time they were sucking, and I think I mentioned stuff about, like, how, like, the whole arena thing is a problem, and, like, Arizona, I mean, Islanders really sucked in, in that year, so I gave him, like, a couple center, good, decent center prospects, I think I gave him like Statsny and like um, I gave, I know for sure I gave him like an elite goalie because I had no goalie so I gave him a bunch of stuff for John Tavares and in that year we traded for John Tavares we won the cup and ever since then Tavares and Tarasenko pretty much like one two punch they got they were like the top two players every single year so hopefully I'm bringing back these two guys together we'll see how it goes defense Wingfist is top four now so he's replacing Brodeen Nick Letty's actually doing pretty good he has 21 points and uh Plus one, and it's eight power play points, so I'm actually putting him on the power play. So the power play defense is actually Nick Letty, Pandolfo, Brodeen, Bean. I noticed Ristolainen doesn't have many points because before I would put Ristolainen on the power play, and he, he actually gets like about seven, eight power play points, so that's probably why he's lacking on points a bit, but that's fine. I believe he's replacing Vrana, Tavares right there for Gramlin. Four man, I think it's pretty much the same. Penalty kill, Tavares, 90 defense, 82 face offs, 84, 88 there. With Mrazic and then Eakin and Tuck. It was Carlson and Lancet as the center. So our penalty kills dropped a little bit. So I just replaced the centers. Oh, and um, yeah, Winkovis replaces, uh, what's his name? Uh, Theodore. And then goalies wouldn't give Lane this one game. So uh, let's see how this trade is. I hope. Uh, sorry, hopefully that trade does not screw up the team. But yeah, lately, I feel like we haven't been doing the greatest lately. So what, let's just go this one game against Ottawa and then we'll get. Hunwick back in. So far, 2-0 win. We've got two shots in a row with uh, Hunwick and Lehner. Oh yeah, and we, that was Lehner's old team too. So nice. We gave him some revenge. So Hunwick's back in. Let's see how these lines do now. Wait, let's have a look at the points for those guys. Uh, okay, let's see. Tavares was... I try to keep this in my mind. try to remember. Uh, let's see. 51. You know what? Let me write this shit down. Okay, I pretty much just wrote it down. So Lehner's back in net. And let's continue the sim. So Tavares and Eberle each have 57 points. Uh, Tavares is plus one, Eberle is plus three. Nick Letty is 21 points with plus one. So let's see how they do when we finish the season here. So 39, 20, and four is our record too. I should be technically won that one game with them, but I can probably remember that. 39, 20, and four, I should remember that. Okay, let's go. That's one game for Hunwick, that's five. Let's go up this. Uh, let's go up this uh, Dallas. Sure. Let's go up this Dallas game. Give uh, Laner a game there. Okay. So hopefully this this trade makes us a lot better. So far we've got points in every single game. Um, Chicago Wolves. Yeah, Chicago Wolves. They're, they're out. They're out of the playoffs. Nah, Chicago Wolves always sucks. Um, another good thing. Yeah, we didn't really trade much of our. I guess technically we lost some of our future. We 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 sacrificed a little bit of the future because. Eberle and Tavares, they're really old, so they could retire, and they could uh, decline on us, because Brandon's a couple years older. Um, Granlin, he was already declining, but we lost, uh, what's his name, Theodore. But technically, we did get lucky with the free agency, where we got Winkfist to replace Theodore, and then we got lucky in the draft with Mrazic, who would eventually replace Eberle as well. And then, hopefully... Kepnin will become the future first line center to replace Taveras. And yeah, and then hopefully the Lancet or Be Strong will replace Kempinen on the second line. So hopefully everything turns out 
the way I hoped it would be. So, so far only two regulation losses, two shootout overtime losses. Yeah, so far so good. So one lot, so four wins, five, six, seven, we went seven, two and two since the trade. So far so good, let's get Laner in real quick. 74, 74, so 57 points. So it looks like he's doing pretty good. Uh, let's get Laner. Okay, hopefully I didn't. Uh, hopefully I didn't screw uh, screw over Islanders. Let's see how they're doing. Islanders. Yeah, they're doing good. 86 points. I think they're doing pretty. They're, they're doing good. Both teams. Both trades worked out for both teams. Okay, Laner's in. Let's give him a game here. Gets the two one loss. Unfortunately, that's okay. Let's get Hunwick back in. Okay, let's try to finish this as fast as we can because I I took way too long explaining that trade. Only how many games left? 75. Oh no, we're almost done. It's only uh, seven games left. Okay, we're basically done here. So you want? Let's just go the rest of the games. Uh, yeah, we can go the rest of the games with Hunwick. We should be fine. Yeah, let's go. Let's do that. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, let's just do the scout. Let's stop maybe halfway. I wanna have a look at the. Uh, it's been three weeks. The contracts here. I don't see how bad the contracts are. Cause I know I know for sure we have to sign uh, what's his name, Rissalainen, and a few other guys. But I don't see how bad the the contracts. I want to try to sign a few, do the contract extension thing, just to get the guys a little bit cheaper. So let's just stop. You know, let's just stop here, or whatever. Okay, so two wins in a row there for uh, Hunwick. Wait, I didn't look at the points to see how we we're doing. I didn't look. Hundred points. Yeah, we already clinched the playoffs. So that's good. Um, Okay, Vancouver is pretty much in. Islanders, where are they? Islanders, yeah, I mean, they can still time to drop, but they're, they're in a good place. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, contracts, okay. Let's see how many guys have decided how much money we have. Okay, let's see. Yeah, for sure. I think it was that Panarin to sign too. Hopefully, not. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm Panarin too. Shit. So I'll have about 41 mil to sign. Uh, let's see. Wrist and Line and Panarin, Tuck. Okay, really just those three guys, but they're gonna be like 10 mil each, so that's already like 30 mil gone, basically. No, Tug won't be 10 mil, it'd probably be like, see, around 6 mil, I'd say, or something. These guys will be like 10 mil, I'd say. Everly, um, if we have enough money, we'll, we'll re-sign him, but if not, we, like I said, we always have Mrazek. Kempinen, oh, he's gonna be big money too. Okay, really just three guys, Kempinen, Mrazek, no. Kempinen, Panarin, Ruslan, and Tuck. It's those four. Everly, we tell me you don't have to sign them. Goalies. Yeah, we're good for goalies. Okay, you know what? Let's try. For sure, we need Ruslan. Oh, only 7 mil. Okay, it doesn't want 10 mil. Okay. Probably if we if we leave, if if we like go till next year without signing him, he'll want like 10 mil. Seven years though. Will he play until he's 38? Nah, buddy. Let's give you... Four, yeah, four years till you're 35. I think that's fair. 7.9. Let's, let's try 7.5. He's going to pay less than freaking... Uh, what was his name? Bean. Jake Bean. Okay, 7.5. If he doesn't want that, we can just give him that 7.9. That's still... 7.9 is still good for him. Panarin, 6.3. Two years. Yeah, two years is good. Let's give him 8 mil. Just like Bean. That's probably good. And then, uh, no, who's the other guy? Kempinen. This guy's gonna be huge. So, Kempinen. Yep, some noise is happening in my house, so I might need to edit some shit out in a second here. Kempinen, eight years. Yeah, he, want, he wants a lot of money. So, let's see. Okay, I'm back. So, if he wants not eight years, that's about nine mil, which is a good sign. It's gonna be a really good player, but I just noticed this is season eight or. Oh my god, what season am I on? Season, we won season seven. We lost his oh shit this season season nine holy shit so if we go up to eight years he he wants about nine mil that's that's a good sign he'll be a really good player but anyways we're in the ninth season so we tell you we only have uh, six seasons left until like I only put it at a fifteen season uh, franchise mode so we can technically just go six years just go till the end of the game basically and yeah so let's, maybe let's just go for six six years just to make it as cheap as we can. And give him um, 8.5. Yeah, right now everyone's getting paid about 8 mil. So let's give him 8.5 for 6 years. Let's just try that. 
Yeah, who's getting paid the most right now? Is it like Tarasenko? Yeah, it makes sense. Tavares makes sense. Yeah, two top centers. But then, what's his name? Uh, Kepinen's gonna be our new top center. So it makes sense if he's one of the most paid players. Okay, so that's the contracts. Let's just finish the sim there. Only like five games now, maybe. Uh, four, f yeah, five games left. And yeah, Tarasenko. I mean, not uh, Tavares. Top the team now. Okay, five games. Let's no wait. One, two, yeah, eighty-two game. Oh fuck it. Let's just, let's just finish this shit. Am I going crazy? Oh, six games. Ooh. He wants more money. Okay. More money. Captain. Okay. I guess I reduced it too much. Hmm. Wait. Stop. 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 Okay. We're good. Johnny T, okay. Um, oh, wait, uh, let's go contracts. Hopefully, the Islanders aren't doing too bad. Um, okay, so we only have a few days left to sign these guys. So is Rissa line in? Yeah. Oh, Tuck. No, we leave Tuck. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Uh, Rissa line in. Seven years. I don't know if I want to give him seven years. Because he'll be. I oh, want. By the time the game will be over, but then he'll be like. Will he even play till he's 38 years old? That's that's the thing. And if he drops, like I don't have a seven mil seven mil player that's like 80 overall. It seems like the next Ovechkin. I just want to give him like four years. Okay, four years. Did I I, I, I lowered his salary, so let's, let's give him eight mil. No, I think I did I did give him eight mil, didn't I? Four years, eight point three. Guys remember that. Eight years four years, eight point three. Four years, eight point three, two years. 8.3 for both of them. I think, yeah, I think Panera, I give him 8, eight mil exactly. He wanted more money, so let's just try 8.3 8 each here. Uh, let's just go buy it one a day here. Okay, so accepted. Okay, so we might have to give Panera 8.5 mil then. Shot loss. Man, this video is super long. But I gotta edit lots of stuff just because of the interruptions. Okay, so how much money do we have next year? 24 mil. Yeah, we'll have enough money to sign everyone. Even though he's about... Wait, how much does how much does Tuck want? Oh, 7 mil. It's kind of overpaid for him. Who doesn't get that many points? Yeah, I don't really have any right wingers coming up, do I? No, I have Gauthier. Uh, actually, yeah, I have Gauthier technically. How, how long is Gauthier signed till? Yeah, another year, 5.1. I can technically let Gauthier come up. 29 goals. He might... He had, he had 30 goals last year, so he's just about tying his career high for goals. Uh, you know what? He wants two years, all right? You know what? Who wants two years? We can we can we can make a trade. Okay, one year, 8.6. Ah, oh, now he wants more money. So, you know, one year is good for Panarin. I think it's fine. Hopefully, maybe even Marazic can be like the next first line center. Who knows? Or first line left winger? Who knows? And we have Zadarov coming up too. Zadarov and Emerson or something in the in the AHL. So hopefully those guys can grow. Tuck, so 8.6, two years, sure, why not? We can, he can be tradable. 7.3, let's see. Two years, 7.3, Panera, one year, 8.6. So let's back out, let's sim here. Let's say my last few videos are really long. That's fine, whatever. Okay, let's go. Panera rejected, oh, that's fine. We can just resign him in the actual uh, during the off season, so tuck, set, that's that's good. Uh, where are we? Well, let's just see. let's just go to the playoffs and we'll see if they made it or not. What am I doing? Fuck. Uh, well, let's just look. Why not? Uh, Islanders. Oh, they clinched, right? Okay, they clinched. Good, they clinched. They were last place. And where are we? We are second place. Yeah, second place. Why? Wow, it's, oh, it's flipping so quick. What the hell? I think our record's been pr pretty good since the trade. So you see what we're up against. Okay, AHL obviously didn't get in the playoffs again. Arizona Coyotes was a rematch. We played them. We played them Western, yeah, Western Conference Finals uh, two years ago. Now we're up against them first round. Okay, let's see. Let's just have a look at our record since we since that trade. So it was that Ottawa game we won. So so one win there. We got a lot of wins. Win win. Uh, 
I'm, I'm not technically going through everything, but it looks like... Yeah, I think overall, we did, I think we actually did pretty good. I'm gonna... Just, just look, comparing the Ws and Ls, I think we did pretty good. So that's the record. Yeah, last year we had 50 wins. Let's see how many wins we had this year. I, I didn't even notice. So a few pl playoff games... Oh, 50 wins again. So we tied the wins. I forgot how many overtime wins we had last year, but we tied, I guess, our, our career high for wins for the franchise, which is 50 wins for the team. Fourth place, two-way tie between Edmonton and Detroit. So obviously Detroit's back in the playoffs. They lost uh, two years in a row in the finals in Game 7, so we'll see how they do this year. Goals 4. 252, third place. We were number one for goals 4 last year. Goals against, 197. Um, I think it got a little bit worse. We're about the same, I think, for last year. Power play, 23%. Got a little bit worse, but still overall, it's still really good. Penalty kill... 83, uh, it's about the same since we traded Tavares and all that, so about the same. Really good away record, pretty bad home record. Okay, so let's have a look at the points for the newly acquired guys. Okay, so go to forwards. Okay, so Tavares, it was 57 points plus 1 since we got him. So let's bring out the calculator. That is a... He got 29 points with us and how many... Isn't it usually since trade deadlines, usually like 15-ish games, I think. So he did pretty good since he got here. Plus 21, so plus 20, 29 points since he got here. Tarasenko, 82 points, 53 goals though, uh, plus 28. So um, off-season for him, but still pretty good. 100-some points, 108. 82, I don't know, 82 is still kind of on the higher side, but 53 goals, 73 goals last year. 53 goals, still pretty good. Uh, Eberly, he had 57 as well, so 72 minus the 57, that's uh, 15 points plus 3, so not as great as Tavares, but we'll see how he does. 70 points is still his average for points, Panarin 66, his average is usually, yeah, I think 60, 60, 70 points is average, so that's pretty good for him, plus 24. Kevin in 60 points, oh, I think he tied his, yeah, tied his career high, tied his uh, rookie. Um, not as positive though, so hopefully. Not that's not a good sign, but at least you know, he tied it. Mrazek 41 points in his rookie year on the third line, pretty good. Gauthier 29 goals, 30 goals is his career high, 37 points. Not as great as last year. Power play 10 power play points. Tuck 30, not the greatest, but plus is pretty good. Not the greatest in points, but that's fine. Lancet 30 points, that's his career high thing. Yep, career high plus as well. Him. Him, Marazic, Gothi, pretty good in the third line. Carlson, 21 points. Mickelson, Eakin. Yeah, not the greatest uh, fourth line, but wherever. We'll leave it like that for now. And then, so I believe the defenseman. Jake Bean, 67 points, plus 30. Russell Lining with him, plus 25, 70 points. Yeah, so he doesn't get that many points because of the power play points. Because this year, he doesn't have any power play time. Yeah, the last few years, he got, he got at least like five points from the power play, so... That's why it's a little bit low this year. Letty, he had 21 points. Only, wow, only one point plus one. He only had one point and plus one. Wow, okay, let's see. Power play. Only Yeah, he didn't get any power play points. You know, okay, let's take him off the power play. He had eight power play points since getting traded, too. Uh, Pendolfo, pretty good. 29 points in the regular. Or in his uh, rookie year. Brodeen, 49 points. Goalies, Hunwick, 917, 47. Laner has some pretty good stats, 152, 941 save percentage. Okay, let's see, entire league. Jerry tied with him for uh, for wins, but obviously Jerry has the better stats, so I feel like Jerry's probably going to get the Vesna this year. Those are everyone, Veseleski, Soderstrom, and New York Islanders. Uh, rookies, hopefully. Uh, Mrazic was down by a few points last time, so let's have a look here. Oh, fuck, yeah, he, he dropped off a little bit. Looks like Manino's, he's for sure getting the Calder. Defenseman. Yep, Dylan Patrick, Jake being right behind him there. Wu, Winnick, Kusino, Gabranson. Forwards, yeah, Kucherov, Forsberg, Eichel, Sagan. Yeah, Detroit had a really good year. Them and Edmonton tied for the President's Trophy. McDavid. Tavares, 86. Yeah, so he did a lot better since coming up here. Tarasenko, 82 points. Peluso from Detroit. Goals. Yep, Tarasenko, 53 goals. So, Maurice Richard for Tarasenko. Yep, that's the entire points for everyone. Let's have a look at the 
playoff tree. A few a few games already happened. So yeah, like Winnipeg's already up one nothing. Edmonton's up one nothing. We're up against the against the um, Coyotes. Edmonton, Vancouver. Hopefully, we don't have to face Vancouver in the future if we get to make it further on. Winnipeg, Nashville, Minnesota, D- Dallas, Columbus. They lost to Detroit. No, it was it. Yeah, Columbus lost to Detroit in the Eastern Finals last year. Against they're up against Colorado. New York Rangers lost. Actually, I forgot they made it last year. But New York Rangers, Philly, Tampa Bay. They're the presence tied with Edmonton against Boston, and the Islanders made it. They're the last place team. They made it, in, and they're against Detroit. So see how Detroit does this year. So that's the playoff tree. Okay, let's make the line trees real quick before I forget. Oh, play morale. Okay, Tavares is... Oh, wait, oh, let's do... Okay, let's have the alternate captains, too, because we traded away Theodore, so... He was one of our alternate captains. Okay, so obviously, Letty, he didn't do anything on the power play, so let's put... Um... Let's try Winkfist, I guess. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, Fuck, fuck, fuck. What am I doing? Winkfist, how are you doing the regular season with points? 15 points. How did Arista Linen do... About the same, um, 88 offensive awareness, 89, 93 hand eye. You know what? Let's give let's give Winquist the shot on the power. Actually, no. Let's let's give the wrist line in. He's the captain. Let's give the wrist line in here. I don't want to overplay the wrist line. That's why I don't want him to get injured. Okay, well, let's put Winquist on the second pairing here. That's fine there. And everything else, only our fourth line is sucking, so we'll just leave the fourth line the same, just like that for now. There's nothing else we can really do. Maybe move Morazic down since he's the rookie. Okay, there's that. Edit lines. Uh, captains. And then the view draft class, and then we'll end it there. So Carlson, captain, we're sliding. Okay, so we're missing an A. Who should we give it to? Captain, oh, I feel like Tavares would probably get it, since he's the captain. Or should I give it to like Tuck, Panarin, one of those guys have been here for a while, Brodeen. You know what, let's give it to freaking Tavares. He was a captain in Islanders for a long time, he should be at least a letter here. And he has the most points on the team. Okay, so that's the captain's view draft class. We already know this, the Canadian guy, uh, Pavelski is his name. He's a Canadian franchise. Let's have a look here. Um, elites? Well, no exact elites. Uh, there was that one elite, uh, what's his name? Oh, there you go. There's one exact elite, but there's two elites here. This fifth round, we can probably... Ooh, we should... okay, let's pin all these guys. Um, I guess later on, I'll... I'll scout more in these areas just to see what they really are, but those are the pin guys. There's one, yeah, undrafted top four. Yep, so that's good. So I'll end it there. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, check out my Instagram in the description. Comment your thoughts and suggestions. And stay tuned for round one against the Arizona Coyotes. And let's save. Peace.